We have to go send our absentee ballots in the elections on Tuesday. Hey, Brennan. Have you seen Brutus? I can't find him anywhere. That blanket seems to be breathing. Brutus. Oh, hello. Hi. You there? Good morning. We had a lovely night of sleep. And yes, hi, Brutus. We now vote in South Dakota even though we keep our house in New York and we have a condo in Palm Springs, but we are residents of South Dakota. There's a video about that uh, we made earlier, why we chose South Dakota residency for our RV. All the post offices close at 11 and it is 9.33 and we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And we never imagined that every single post office in the entire region closes at 11 on a Saturday. We have to send our ballots express. And now after doing all that work to set up last night, I'm doing all of our hard work. So postmark our ballots for the South Dakota election. So far I've disconnected our water, disconnected our power. But we're still running because of our solar, even though there's no sun. Did you know that people who have solar power just have to shut down and go black at night? They sit in darkness. I think that's on the ballot in South Dakota, if people who have solar power are allowed to have light at night. I don't know. It's not recording. Again, did I just do that again? In the last election, everyone voted to legalize pot. But Christine Nellon is a real schmuck. She found a loophole to not allow it. She got the whole thing thrown out in court, which was all Republican judges. And now we're voting to decriminalize pot. It just started pouring, but we're still trying to get out of here. We are domiciled in South Dakota. We use a service called Escapees. There's another service called America's Mailbox, which we're considering switching to. And I will do a video about why we're doing that later. We now have South Dakota license plates, but we're New Yorkers and we like when we travel, people come up and ask about New York and then we, you know, we don't have anything to say about South Dakota other than that we pay to live there. Legally, if anyone in South Dakota is watching, we intend to go back there when we're done with our full-time travels. That is the requirement. So we, we put our New York plates in front of our South Dakota plates and we get to campground sometimes as a conversation piece. So I'm terrified we're gonna forget and leave them on. So I gotta take them off now. It says it will take another 10 years for us to legalize pot with the way the Constitution works. It's so stupid because before it was to legalize it and sell it and tax it, and now it's just going to be a black market free-for-all with decriminalization. The economy's bad and people are losing their jobs and they're going to blame crime on cannabis. Anyway, it's so stupid. It's a significant expense for us to go vote right now. We only get like eight miles to the gallon. I mean, it's not, we're going to do it, but also- You're welcome, South Dakota. You're welcome. We're saving you from yourselves. Yeah, I mean, we have a unique progressive vote in South Dakota. It is Rapid City, which is the San Francisco of the Dakotas. Oh, I think I read that in the New York Times. Let's get out of the rain. It rained last night, so we had to dose Brutus with this stuff called composure. And now he's just like a goober sitting inside scared of the thunder. We took everything down. We're just kind of setting it out, all the plants. Are they gonna be okay in the rain? It's gonna thunderstorm. Yeah, they're not afraid of <laughs> I'm ready to go. Actually, I need to poop. I already gave you the opportunity to poop. I said, do you need to go to the bathroom before I drain the tank, flush it, and disconnect the water? And you said no, and I said, you always have to go to the bathroom. Are you sure you don't have to go to the bathroom? And he said, no, I don't have to go to the bathroom. I know if I need to go to the bathroom. And I said, Benji, you have to always go to the bathroom. And he said, just go disconnect it. Well, I didn't have to go to the bathroom then. And you know, we read that article that says, don't make yourself go, because it actually damages. Well, now you're gonna do more damage by holding it in until okay. we get back. Go to the post office. There's this green building out there. It's a cute boy with a dog. He's a little beefy and dressed for winter, but still a little exposed, just like you like him. Like when it's a sweater kind of deep. That looks like some sort of social spot. She has hair poking out. Look at this cute little post office. I'm gonna go through and do what I know, and that's all the Democrats. For US representative, there's only Republican and Libertarian. Libertarians are just Republicans who don't want to admit they're Republicans. Libertarians used to be just like somewhat crazy progressives. They don't want to pay taxes, and they think every child in school deserves a gun. Can you fix this? 
Yeah, I don't know. It looks like they cut it in a weird way. Aren't they for gay marriage? I think they're for right. gay marriage as much as they like don't think the government should exist. Do we leave it blank as a protest vote, which means nothing? Ooh. You're not voting for Wait, correct. We vote for neither. Leave it blank. Did you fill that in? I didn't fill that in. You did. I did fill in Libertarian. I did not oh, touch the ballot. You go to Libertarian. They're not going to win. Okay. For U.S. Senator, Democrat, Brian L. Bangs. For Representative, should I leave mine blank or do Libertarian? Uh, I'll leave mine blank. Yeah. Okay. For Governor and Lieutenant Governor, to be elected as a team, you may vote for one. So we just want the Democrats. Christy Mellon is a real schmuck. For the record, I don't just blindly vote the Democrat ticket, but this election's different and we're voting in South Dakota and everyone's in the country is an angry idiot right now. We voted Working Families Party in New York. Secretary of State Thomas A. Cool. It'd be cool to vote for him. For Attorney General, you may vote for one or leave it blank. I'm actually looking this guy up. He might be good. The Libertarian guy? Yeah, he ran because he didn't want the Republican to win after the Democrat dropped out of the race. Oh, great. State Auditor, State Treasurer, Commissioner of Schools and Public Lands, Public Utilities Commissioner, which will leave it blank for the state senator. Two Democrats running. Oh, you may vote for two. So let's vote for both Democrats. No to both judges. No to retaining it. Now, sh idiot governor can still reappoint them, but has to go through the appointment process, right? Christy Mellon is a real schmuck. Okay. Judge of the Circuit Court, you may vote for one or leave it blank. We are voting oh. for Heidi Lindgren. She came up as a public defender. All the others are awful people. Now the fun one. Well, first we have Constitutional Amendment D, which is about expanding Medicaid. The Democratic Party and South Dakota Public Radio both say that it's a good plan. So we're going to vote yes to expand Medicaid. And then... An initiated measure legalizing the possession, use, and distribution of marijuana. The post office is hopping now. Do you ever worry you're going to die from licking cheap envelopes? 